<laughs> it's a little overwhelming. Not a little, it's a lot overwhelming. Okay, so those of you who have been on this long journey with us of trying to move, waiting to move, waiting for all the things. And today we're gonna have a play date. Yeah, so Reagan's going to a friend's house later today. Reagan and Harper. Do you want me to start? Um, yeah, you can start, it's fine. So we are, I have been slowly like cleaning out areas. I've cleaned out the school room. I told y'all about that for a book sale. Um, so pretty, I think pretty much everything in the school room is going, like we're keeping. I might, you know, as I'm packing, get rid of stuff. But we have a huge craft closet. So we are very big crafters, um, several of the kids, myself. So we have accumulated a lot of supplies and things over the years. So we are cleaning out the craft closet. I kind of just want to go ahead and pack it up, which we're a little apprehensive because we did. Yeah. So because we do use, use a lot of the things that are in there, but I was like, really, we're going to be so busy. I don't see us crafting. Do you see us crafting, Addison? <laughs> so we're we're doing some furniture anyways we just need to pack we just gotta get the ball rolling um so we are gonna have a huge garage you know moving sale garage sale so no not today we're just like getting ready you getting excited one step closer. Mm -hmm. one all right step closer. you have one it's step closer instead of two steps back that's true I think it's exciting to pack, yeah. but we're not moving until, like, what, like, October, yeah. mid-November? We're not exactly sure on the date yet, but probably yeah, something like that is my guess, my best we don't, guess. We don't so might as well just clean this area that we have Yeah. So, well, we use it a lot. Just, we can get rid of a lot of stuff that's in there, though. So, Addie's actually packing up all of her soap-making supplies, um, and then... We'll the move on. Yes, this is the, this is the keep. <laughs> because we keep will have. A lot of it. Yes, she likes making soap. Because we have to minimize this because we won't have the biggest of closet like this. I know. Because like, we don't like to sit in here and craft. We'll have to take it to the table and craft. Yeah. But. So, all right, getting one step closer. Two boxes done. This has a big gap right here. Yeah, well, we can fit some so, stuff in there, yeah. Okay, Kinley's helping me over here. So once upon a time, a long time ago, I used to make and sell hair bows and sell them at craft sales. I have not done that in years. I obviously still have all of my supplies, tons of ribbon. I do make them every once in a while for our girls. So I don't need to keep as much ribbon, obviously. So we are gonna go through some of this stuff now. That's a lot of ribbon, y'all. <laughs> Or the Explorer ribbon, we got <laughs> Minnie Mouse ribbon, we have Olaf ribbon. Olaf. Yes. We have don't da, have da, 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 Elsa, Dora. Anna ribbon. <laughs> we just have all the characters, don't we? Yep. And we have this. Do you know who that is? I am Dora. Don't we have like a um, what's the Hello Kitty? Yeah. But we used it all of that. Don't I think we? so. Yeah. <laughs> too many masses. Yeah. All right, so I condensed six containers down to two of ribbons. So I think that's pretty good. Here's a box to get rid of. There's a lot of garbage too. So moving on. So I'm also working on piles in my room from cleaning out that red chest that I am still in the process of working on. We are, it's, it's, it's going to be good, y'all. Y'all just wait till you see that table. I will finish it here eventually. <laughs> but a big thing, so I've got Christmas cards that people have sent us over the years, like all these like sentimental things that were in that red chest that I was storing. So I'm kind of going through pictures, old Christmas cards, um, and pictures of our kids. So I have a big folder, you know, like that you just get when you get the pictures for each one of our children. <laughs> and so as I like switch out our yearly photos on our wall, I put their pictures in there. Um, so that's what I'm doing because I hadn't done that. I just kind of stacked it in the red chest. Look, this is Jackson. That's so cute. Doesn't that look like Camden? Like seriously. So I'm organizing the pictures from whenever I redid that wall in our living room. You remember whenever I did that earlier this year? Did I do that before Christmas? I don't think I did. Anyways, it was earlier this year. So I'm kind of organizing. Like I said, so this is Jackson's folder. I've got <laughs> Taylor, Addison, Peyton, 
Jack's and Miley. Logan's is over here. So kind of putting all of their different pictures that I have of them. Just like the mainly the professional ones are like really special pictures. Not like all the snapshots that I have. Because, well, I would need a massive box for each of the children. <laughs> but working on this. So we are making headway in a couple of different areas in the house. Okay, as I have the extra folders whenever we have pictures done, because we don't get pictures done all that often, I save these folders just because they're thicker. So I save this one for Camden. So we will be putting his, starting his little folder for all his pictures. All right, we got a, a good bit of stuff done. We got two boxes officially like packed and labeled and taped. <laughs> Doesn't sound like much y'all, but it's a start. So it's a start. We're we're processing. We're moving forward, I guess we'll say. So I also have like four boxes of garage sale stuff that we did. So that's, that's a lot. So that's six boxes of stuff, right? I really, really, really want to minimize. It's just hard for me because I'm, I'm the type of person that thinks, oh, what if I need this? Or, cause I, I do reuse a lot of stuff. I just keep a lot of stuff too. Anyways, I'm working through it. I'm trying my best. Anyway, so we are leaving now. So we are pausing all of that work um, because I'm taking Reagan and Harper to their friend's house and we're gonna just have some fun for the afternoon. It is the next day, y'all. We had a good time with our friends last night. We actually ended up having dinner over there. So we are gonna pick up this vlog um, where we left off. We've had a pretty productive day, uh, not as productive as yesterday. We got a lot done yesterday. I feel pretty proud with the step forwards that we are taking. Um, and today we, we did a good bit, not as much as yesterday. We kind of picked up and cleaned out some toys from the little girl's room. That's Reagan and Harper's room. Got some stuff, you know, put in the garage sale pile. We, between Logan's and Jackson's room and the little girl's room, we have a bag of garbage. Logan felt inspired and totally cleaned up his room by himself. Amen, hallelujah. <laughs> that went over well. So, and then I actually packed two boxes of books from a book, um, it's not even a bookcase, a small bookcase that I have in my room that we will be selling at the garage sale whenever we do it. So I've got that clear. Um, so, I mean, just making a little bit of headway. I will be thankful later that I have somewhat started now, but tonight for dinner. So I thought that I would take y'all along with what we're doing for dinner tonight. We are gonna do homemade pizzas. It's been a while since I've done this. I, if we do homemade pizzas, I actually buy like the refrigerated pie crust, not pie crust, um, pizza crust. It's pizza Jessica, not pie. Um, but we are gonna do it all from scratch today. One, it saves money. Two, you know the ingredients that's in it. And three, I don't have the pre-made <laughs> pizza crust in my fridge. If I did, I, I probably would use it y'all <laughs> anyway so it'll be fun um I'm gonna make the dough it's got to rise for an hour so we are ignore the messy pantry okay we'll just go backwards okay we'll just do that um get my dough hook so it, the dough has to rise for an hour it is 355 so this is the perfect time to start and hang on baby um and then I think I'm gonna have each kid like make their own mini pizzas so we'll get the dough going Okay, so we are using the recipe from Big Family Homestead. I will link their video in the description box below. So I'm not going to give it all out because it's not my recipe. Um, but we have some warm water in here. And then we are going to actually add some sugar. Yep. One. We have to do four. Yes. Two. All right, come over here, Harper. Can you move? Harper, do that one. Here you go, Harper. Three. 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 Yeah. Okay, here's one more. Four. Okay, and then we're going to get this going. Harper, okay. Oh. Yeah, okay. Harper left. And <laughs> then we've got three tablespoons of yeast. One. Two. Three. Oh, I'm glad that you were counting. <laughs> I was thinking that we needed one more. Good job, Reagan. Good job. All right, so the yeast is proofed. Now we're going to add oil and then flour and salt. Oh, can I get some? Oil. Yep. You dump this whole thing in there. This whole thing. Yep. And I want to do flour. Good job. So we're going to mix this. Oh, I'm going to do the flour. Oh, here, nope. Don't put your fingers in there. Um, do it. Oh, okay. oh. One. Can I do it 
We'll do this two cups at a time. Two. All right, so this recipe actually says that it makes like eight pizzas. <laughs> so that's a lot of pizza. I think honestly for my family make, we need three. But, huh? yeah. but I think um, I'll make some like calzones or something for Nathan to take for lunch for work. All right, so we'll get this mixed up now. All right, back up because it's gonna, it's gonna poop. This. I actually just had it knead in the mixer itself because this mixer is amazing <laughs> and I don't want to knead it by hand. So I got it to where it, you know, is pulling away from the sides. I sprayed my big bowl. So we are going to put it in here for it to rise for, for an hour. All right, for reference, I did have to knead this because it was still very, very sticky. It didn't look that sticky whenever it was in the mixer. But I did have to knead it for quite a while still, actually. But we are going to now let this sit and rise for one hour. Okay, so the dough um, rose for an hour. And now Reagan and Harper are making their own little pizzas. It's seasoning, it's Reagan. Sticky, sticky. It's seasoning. I put I'm some Italian seasoning. Now. Yep, you got stickiness. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but it's like the bag. Oh, yeah. a Santa bag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Drew and Kinley got in on the mix. I had to just be present in the moment. Very messy. We got majority of it cleaned up. <laughs> this is why I buy the pre-made crust, y'all. <laughs> or the pre-made dough. <laughs> no, it's fun. It's worth it. It's worth the memories. We did it. It's done. I totally forgot to let the dough have its second rise though. You're supposed to then like form it into a ball and let it rise. And I just started making, you know, rolling it out. So hopefully it's okay. I mean, what's, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the worst could happen, but anyways, waiting for that to cook up. Um, I'm having to do like two batches. I'm going to finish doing some of these dishes. All right. So we got six smallish to medium sized pizzas. I mean, Two people could eat, you know, some of these. So I didn't end up doing the calzones because it was just a little cray cray and this was just easier. So we went with these pizzas. <laughs> and then here is a big one that we did. Yep, you ready to eat some pizza? Okay, so this is <laughs> the bigger one that we did. All the kids wanted to get involved. So, well, the little kids. So they ended up making those with supervision. Again, it went it went cray cray <laughs> anyway so there's another pizza and peyton actually made homemade brownies and we did not get into those at all <laughs> these are delicious y'all oh my goodness i i still have yet to make homemade brownies peyton is now the brownie maker in her house better than any box brownie mix i'll have to get the recipe from her because she found it herself delicious so dinner is done. I got to feed my people. So I'm going to end this video here. Thanks so much for hanging out with us and we'll see y'all in the next video.